Hello all you lovely souls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Martha and I am here to show you this lovely little deck, a recent addition to my collection. It is Goddess Love Oracle by Wendy Andrew. It's from Rockpool Publishing and there are 36 cards and a guidebook in this box. I had not noticed this deck and then I watched a walkthrough on another channel and I just fell in love. I immediately ordered it and I, oh my gosh, I've been working with it for the past little while and it is just such lovely energy. I'm going to show you the guidebook before I get to the cards. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly good size. And obviously you start off with the contents. And all the cards, as you can see, are in alphabetical order. So whether you choose to use the table of contents or not, it really doesn't matter. You can quickly find the message for the card that you're working with. So there's an introduction, and I'm going to read this paragraph right here because it's really beautiful. And it says... We share this beautiful planet with many other non-human brothers and sisters, creatures that bear no grudges and live in the moment, creatures that have many lessons to teach us about love and trust. Goddess will bring these creatures into your life as and when you need encouragement to help you on your journey of self-discovery and self-love. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. So... You have a section here on how to use the cards. You have a single card reading, three card spread, and so on and so forth. All right, and then you get straight into the cards. And I'm going to choose a card at the end for us as the focus card of the day. And then I'll read to you what's written. And there's a goddess inspired daily practice which is oh just amazing and in the back here there is a little bit about the author and artist so the author is also the artist which is uh, really nice and here's a picture of her okay let's get straight to the cards so the backs are really pretty. I always love symmetry. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just, I really like that. And let's flip over here. Look at that. Look at the vibrancy in these images. Look how beautiful the artwork is. I am so in love with this deck. I'm so glad that I ran across a walkthrough of it and discovered it. All right, so I'll go quickly through the cards and in the end I'll choose one for us. Auth okay, so before I do that, let me talk a little bit <laughs> about the card stock. It's not that thick, but it's not too bad. Cards are pretty much a regular size for Oracle decks. And you have a keyword and then you have a sentence, a few more words underneath. All right, so let's begin. Authenticity. Awakening, bliss, calmness, be gentle with yourself. I just love this card. Isn't it really sweet? Companionship, compassion, creativity, dedication, enlightenment, Flow, generosity, harmony, hope, ignite, journey, joy, love, love your body, nurturance, Peace, protection, radiance, realignment, rebirth, reflection, 
rest, safety, love this card, so much love in it, sanctuary, self-discovery, shelter, shine, sleep, stillness, wildness and freedom, wisdom, oh, that's the last one. <laughs> I wish there were more, trust me. I mean, it, it, you know, this deck is just, just so beautiful and it has this gentle energy, makes me feel connected to the earth and really brings peace to me. So I'm gonna just, well, maybe I'll just do it right here. Oh, you know what? I feel a pull for this card, which is wisdom. That's wonderful. I'm so pleased that I chose this card. So let's take a look and see what the author has in the guidebook for us. So as you can see, you really don't need to go to the table of contents. And there is even a number on the card. There's the keyword and the number, so you can search for it in so many ways. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so you have the keyword wisdom and underneath you have the word remember. Caradwen, ancient Welsh mother goddess, comes to you with her teachings of wisdom. What is it to be wise? How do you harness your wisdom? She tells you that you came into this life as a wise being and you have spent much of your time forgetting and unlearning. But fear not, for Goddess is here to guide you back to remembering. She will teach you again how to feel wisdom through nature, folklore, stories, and myths. She calls you to realize that wisdom does not reside in the brain, but in the heart. Intelligence may be a path to wisdom, but it is not the destination. In today's world, when story Storytelling and verbal sharing of old ways is limited. Books can be their substitute. Caridwen encourages you to read fairy stories, folk tales, mythology, and books about plants and trees. But most of all, she calls you to go out into nature. Let the trees, plants, and animals share with you their wisdom. Goddess says she will come to you at significant times during your life to give you special opportunities to rediscover your inner wisdom. It is your decision as to whether to take them or not. She may, she may come in many ways, and sometimes her teachings may be very challenging. Sometimes your spiritual growth may require you to upset the status quo of your life. You may decide to turn away and take an easier route. The choice is always yours. But if you long for goddess wisdom in your heart and respond to her call, she will always give you the love, strength, and courage you need. And underneath here, we have goddess-inspired daily practice. Try this guided visualization. In your mind's eye, picture yourself walking into a woodland. You notice a particularly beautiful big tree in a clearing and are drawn towards it. As you approach, you see there is an opening like a door in its huge trunk and you peer inside. You see a spiral staircase twisting downwards and you enter into the tree and walk down and down. Your way is lit by candles and little alcoves in the walls. At the bottom, you find yourself in a larger room also lit by candles. You notice a shape at the far end of the room and as you draw near, the shape becomes an old woman dressed in black. She has an ancient, wrinkled, but kindly face and is stirring a large cauldron. She looks at you and says, Aha, you have come. Welcome, my dear. She indicates for you to sit on a little wooden stool next to her. You sit with her for what seems like a long time, although you have no way of knowing. Although you don't actually speak, she seems to know what you are thinking and answers your questions in your mind. You feel wonderfully content. Eventually, she looks up and says, It is time for you to go. Thank you for coming and take this with you. She gives you something significant. 
It may be an action, some words of wisdom, or a gift. You give your thanks and return up the spiral staircase and out through the opening in the tree and back through the woods. You might like to journal about your experience. This is absolutely beautiful, and I think this is what I love so much about this deck. It is very unique, and it has that beautiful, gentle energy that I mentioned before. And I'm so pleased that I ran across it, and I really wanted to share it with all of you in case you're interested. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you like this deck, if you have this deck, or maybe you, you don't like it, and that's perfectly okay. We're all drawn to uh, different things. Okay, my friends, so that's it for today. I hope you were all keeping well, and take care of yourselves. I'll see you again next time.